All right, folks, if y'all want to uh, deal with just, if y'all want to see stuck on stupid, whoo, Florida Democrats, y'all, just got tired of it. They walked out of a contentious confirmation hearing for uh, Dr. Joseph Ladapo, who was nominated by Governor Ron DeSantis to be the Florida Surgeon General. Democrats' frustrations rapidly grew as Ladapo for his lengthy circular responses where he wouldn't directly answer their questions about his background and the state's response to the pandemic. Five times, State Senator Lauren Book asked Ladapo if vaccines worked against the coronavirus. He just refused to say. What's this stupidity? I believe that vaccines in Yo, fighting against flip the that pandemic team. like COVID-19 are effective. Recognize. Yeah. Thank you for your question, Senator. So, again, I would I would say that that the um, the question is a scientific one, and it's one that is answered with data. So, um, so the uh, the the question ref the question is informed by um, data on you know on sp specific outcomes and specific specific therapies. So that's, I, that's, the, uh, that's the scientific question. Mr. Chair, uh, just a couple more follow-ups. Nice. Just a yes or no. Do vaccines work in fighting against COVID-19? Yes or no? You recognize. Okay. Senator, um, I just, I, I, as a scientist, you know, I, 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 I am compelled to answer the scientific question. And I'd be happy to answer any specific scientific question that you have uh, related to vaccines and COVID-19. Scientifically, do vaccines, does the, do the vaccines work against preventing COVID-19? Yes or no? Okay. Recognized. Okay. Well, thank you again, Senator. So, uh, you know, it, it, yes or no questions are, are not that, uh, that easy to find in science. Um, so I will, I understand, I think I, I have better clarity about your, your question at this point. So what I would say is that the most commonly used vaccines in the United States, which would be the, the, um, the Pfizer product and the product that was, was developed by Moderna, um, have been shown to have um, relatively high effectiveness for the prevention of hospitalization. After the walkout, the Senate Health Policy Committee voted without its Democratic members to recommend that Joseph Ladapo be confirmed as Florida Surgeon General. I mean, how stupid can we be, Monique? I mean, this Republicans don't care, but this, oh, it's a scientific question, so I'm going to give you a scientific answer. No! Yes or no? <laughs> no, I mean, I kept giggling. Um, because it, that all the things that we try not to say about black folks when it's hand bone, hand bone, um, that's, that's what that was. And I don't believe at all that it had to do with stupidity. I think it had to do with the fact that he knew that he was in there to get that job because the Republicans who were willing to give it to him would not at all permit him to say what is true. Of course, vaccines work. He could have qualified his answer, but he was so on pins and needles, so, mm. you know, just throat chakra all, all tied up, um, unable to have an ounce of, to show an ounce of training or intelligence or even... So, I mean, she literally, she handed him his hind parts because he had to stand there and be absurd in order to get through and vote. They told him, just don't answer it. Don't say anything good about vaccines. Don't say anything good about boosters. Don't say anything good about any way that anything is improving. And so he was left looking like a certified fool. And, and, and he, that, that, he's likely not one. He's not one. No, no, but, no. He, no he, he's, he's you're he, locked in. No, he's, he's not one. Uh, and look, he has promoted um, unproven treatments. He opposes vaccine requirements. He opposes mask mandates. Uh, and Candace, we're talking about somebody who, and I'm looking here, is the son of a microbiologist, 
There we go. Okay. Where'd he go to school? He, he got, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Got his <laughs> degree in chemistry from Wake Forest. Duke got his MD from Harvard Medical School. His PhD from Harvard Graduate School. Has been in internal medicine. Acted at, worked at UCLA. Uh, and so this is somebody who was just, he, he essentially, he's an anti-vaxxer. And so versus having the guts to say, I don't believe in these things. He vaccines. on the grift. He just sat here, and, and that's why DeSantis picked him. And to your point earlier, that's why just because somebody has an Ivy League degree Boom. doesn't mean that they're the person for the job. And, you know, all I heard was him just saying words in a row. They just didn't even make sense. We don't have to be a public speaker necessarily to hold office, but you do have to make sense. You do have to you know, put some meat on that bone in order for people to understand what you are saying. Here, he was evading to the, the question to a point like uh, like was spoken that it was just absurd. He stood up there uh, and, and, and just didn't answer the question, which is the whole point of this process. And, there, you know, and then there's some other things that matter with him. You know, I'm not sure um, uh, if we were going to talk about this whole idea of him lying, potentially being at the UCLA and, and treating COVID patients. And when people said, you know, who worked alongside him or didn't work alongside him said he, he wasn't treating COVID patients at that time. I'm not sure what he was saying, but it just didn't sound like the truth. And based upon a lot of stories that I've heard about him in his background, he doesn't seem to be a real truth teller. And we know that because he doesn't believe that vaccinations are the right thing to do. I, I just Dr. Hill to sit there and, and, and listen to him. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, sorry, Dr. Hill's not there. Uh, but I just, I just, I don't know what to do. I'm sitting here going, uh, I don't have confidence in your ass being a Surgeon General of Florida. <laughs> I mean, trust me, if I'm listening to that answer, I don't want his ass talking to me at all. That's just, that's just me. All right, y'all. Uh, but again, of course, Republicans, they, su they support him. Back to our Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I gotta defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a black man <laughs> owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Like, wow. Rolling was amazing on that. Stay black, I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig? <laughs>